What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan. And I'm Ashley Borton. Today is August 24th, and we are here for your distance learning news. With everyone in their homes, a back-to-school night will be taking place on Thursday. Here's the latest update. Hey, Wolfpack. I'm Isabel Herman, and I'm here to tell you about back-to-school night. Tomorrow, on August 27th, at 6 o'clock p.m., SPIA will be hosting a virtual back-to-school night. This is to provide important information and to help you and your families feel welcomed. The link will be sent out through Parent View, and it will also be posted on our school's website tomorrow morning. First period starts at 6.10 p.m. Hope to see you there. Parents, make sure to check Parent View, and students, check your Google Classrooms for any other back-to-school night updates, information, or links. Teachers have had to change the way they communicate with students. In an interview with Mr. Brantley, an AP biology teacher, goes on to explain the challenges with teaching through distance learning. Last week marked the first full week of online schooling, and seeing how it's fairly difficult to manage, let's see how one of our science teachers, Mr. Brantley, is keeping up. Uh, it's really difficult um, uh, teaching stuff, especially in AP biology where we have to teach math and graphing and stuff, statistics. Uh, it's really been challenging uh, because people are all different levels and normally I can walk around the classroom and help people individually, but now I have to use breakout rooms and people kind of have to reach out to me more. So we're really relying on students to reach out and ask for help when they need it because there's only so much we can do from a distance. Uh, well, everything we do in the classroom doesn't really work anymore. Uh, we can't really send you guys home with supplies and have you do labs and stuff. So we're missing out on a lot of lab material, um, but we're doing what we can. Uh, sometimes we have to replace the, the content or the activity with something, and sometimes we just have to scrap it and come up with something entirely new. Um, so that's why a lot of teachers are struggling and a lot of teachers uh, really need to uh, you know, give it their all and we just need the best from our students as well. I've been getting into reading a lot lately. Uh, I like to read nonfiction. I didn't do that for a really long time because I was busy and now I have a chance, so that's nice. Ah, my coworkers. Uh, I miss my coworkers a lot. And I know that a lot of them are teaching at school still, but uh, it's just, you know, it's not the same. You can't have lunch the same way and, and talk with them regularly and you gotta wear masks and all of that. So it's, it's just not the same. I've been getting back into gaming, but I did that, I did that before. <laughs> right, now I'm, right now I'm jumping on the Fall Guys trend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. Ha I'm having a good time. It's really dumb. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I used to be a big Rocket League player. Um, so, yeah, whatever I can get my hands on. Yeah, we're fair. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Ashley Borton, and remember the strength of a wolf is the pack, and the strength of the pack is the wolf. Have a good one, Wolf Pack.